What's up guys, it's Geeks Corner here. And just over a month ago, we actually did a video showing off an application called Beeper that allowed you to have iMessage on your Android device as long as you had it installed on the Mac. Now I will leave a link in the description below if you haven't watched that video so you can have a look at what the actual app is like and what it's about. But this time we can actually have a look at the actual app because they've done some changes since that video. And I've actually now put this as my main app for texting. So as you can see on the bottom there, we've got Telegram, we got Google Messages, and we've got Beeper. And Beeper became my main one uh, for Telegram and for WhatsApp, Instagram, and Twitter, and things like that. And the only thing it wasn't was for Google Messages. And the main reason for that is RCS. However, the last few days, they've actually added RCS support into the Beeper app now. So I've actually put this as my main one. So I'm gonna open it up just to show you guys, first of all. Now, as you can see, right at the top there, we've got some pinned options. And as you can see in the top right, it says Note. Now, this is one of my actual favorite features of the Hood application, because sometimes I wanna send a link to my Apple devices, and I've used a few different options one of those being nearby share, but by putting it into this note application, it's just a lot faster and it's a lot more seamless. So we're gonna open that up there for a second. And as you can see, there's a few links in there of what I've used in the past. So we're gonna come back out to there now. And then as you can see, you've got your pinned messages then as well from your other applications. And you can see you've got your favorite options. So for example, now, if I wanted to go ahead and into the group one that I actually run all things tech, I'll put a link in there if you'd like to subscribe to that Telegram channel. On the right, you've got a little Telegram icon there as well. So it tells you where the application has come from. So we can go in there and then you can obviously type away. You can then press on the plus option. You've got your files, you've got your location, you've got your contacts, you can do your photo if you want to. You've got your emoji option and then you can obviously do voice message as well. Now this app isn't perfect, which I will talk through in a moment, but as a whole, it is pretty good. So for example, we're gonna go down here and as you can see now, we've got a group message going on and on the right there, it shows us from Slack. Then you've got some more Telegram options. We've even got Discord in here as well. And this has just become my main source of messaging people. So for example, I can start a message and then I can go ahead and I can actually create a new message there. And I'm gonna go on messages. So it gives you the options of how you wanna send it. You can send it as an SMS message. Now, like I said, it isn't perfect. So one of these features that it hasn't got that you do have in Google Messages is the ability to schedule messages, which is one of the main reasons that I've actually got the Google Messages still on the bottom here. So by keeping that there, I can still go ahead and I can still schedule messages. So if they do update that, then it's gonna be pretty much perfect. Now, as you can see there, some have got icons, some haven't, unfortunately. You're not going to have icons for everything, especially in Google Messages at the moment. Hopefully that will get fixed in the future. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to swipe up from the draw there. And as you can see, then you've got your recents, you can expand your doc, you've got all your messaging options. You can set apps as low priority when the notifications come through. So for example, if you're in a group and you didn't want them to come through and take right up the top, you can just choose it as a, a low priority. You can choose to archive it. And as you can see, you've got your iMessage as well. And then you've got your all options. So you've got your Twitter and everything else as well. There is an option as well. You can actually have Google Chat. Again, I actually don't use that. Now, yesterday, they actually announced as well the ability to invite up to five people within 24 hours. So they can actually skip the queue. So for example, if I had another family member or a friend that wanted to actually join into Beeper, then you can do that. Now for iMessage, you do need to have this running on a Mac, but once that's set up, it's really easy to do. There is end-to-end -end encryption, so you are covered as well. And then you can have iMessage on your Android devices. So what I've actually got this now installed on my Mac itself, I've got it installed obviously on my Android device here. I've also got it installed on a secondary Mac as well, which I actually use quite regularly, but it's not always left powered on. And I've also got it on my iPad as well. So no matter which device I'm on, I've always got access to my messages and mainly, like I say, this note option, which is actually quite a lifesaver and just makes transferring all these things around really easy. Now, I am giving people the option, if they would like to join Beeper, then to message me on either Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, and I can look at getting you guys early access on here so you can skip that waiting list. Just leave your username on social media and a message saying that you'd like to be added 
and then we can have a look on there. I will pick up to three people today as an option to get added on, and then we'll go from there. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.